It is an act of revenge by Jamie Spears and his lawyers to force the singer to take a deposition in the case, said the singer's lawyer. Britney Spears was denied a deposition by a Los Angeles judge on Wednesday. During a hearing Wednesday in Los Angeles Superior Court, Judge Brenda Penny officially denied attorneys for Jamie Spears' request to depose his daughter amid ongoing litigation over his alleged misconduct during her controversial 13-year legal conservatorship. Britney's attorney, Matthew Rosengart, argued there was no reason for the pop star to face a deposition in the case, and called it an act of revenge by her father and his lawyers. Whether he believes it or accepts it, what she went through under him, was traumatic. What would a decent dad do? He would say, that's my daughter, I love my daughter, Rosengart said during the hearing. There is still hope that he sits with his counsel and talks about doing the right thing. A deposition of Britney Spears would re-traumatize her. Jamie's attorneys, meanwhile, have indicated they will likely appeal, saying they are entitled to more information to defend their client. As is the case with most of Rosengart's arguments, it is directed at the media and not at the court, said Alex Weingarten. Mr. Spears did right by his daughter. Mr. Spears protected her beautifully from Rasputins and Svengali's for 13 years and the years before entering the conservatorship. By evidence, not speeches, the truth will come out. There is no evidence regarding Mr. Spears' misconduct and he will be vindicated. To this, Rosengard objected, saying, Mr. Spears' reputation was ruined by himself long before my firm entered this. If he wants to go on TV or write a book to vindicate himself, good luck. Even though she ruled on Britney's deposition, Judge Penny didn't decide whether TriStar Sports and Entertainment Group executives had to sit for depositions and turn over more documents to Britney's legal team. Jamie Rosengart, a former federal prosecutor, has vowed to investigate allegations of serious wrongdoing by him, including taking millions of dollars and illegally spying on Britney. Earlier this month, he won a ruling ordering Jamie to turn over more documents and take a deposition. Rosengart says the TriStar, Britney's longtime business managers, have key information for that probe, and potentially participated in some of the bad behavior but has chosen, stonewall and obfuscate, rather than cooperate. In October, he subpoenaed TriStar and execs Lou Taylor and Robin Greenhill, citing allegations made in a blockbuster New York Times documentary that Greenhill and others at TriStar were involved in creating an, intense surveillance apparatus, to help Jamie spy on Britney. That allegedly included, mirroring, the iCloud account used on her phones, allowing them to monitor her in real time. Additionally, Rosengart claims that TriStar played a major role in creating the conservatorship in 2008, and then, profited handsomely, of $18 million. Taylor allegedly discussed how to choose a conservatorship judge in emails he shared with him. In November, TriStar asked Judge Penny to reject Rosengart's subpoenas, arguing it had already shared a, complete set of its books and records, and had had no role in any of the alleged wrongdoing. TriStar played no part whatsoever in suggesting the establishment of the conservatorship, and no one at TriStar has ever suggested monitoring Ms. Spears' electronic communications. Judge Penny left the issue undecided after hearing arguments from both sides at Wednesday's hearing. Rosengart's subpoena is likely to be granted, but she will limit discovery to the most recent period of the long conservatorship. Following the hearing, TriStar attorney Scott Edelman said the judge's potential ruling would be exactly what the company wanted. Judge Penny's tentative ruling was clear. Discovery is going to be restricted to events and fees relevant to the 12th accounting, just as TriStar had requested, Edelman said, referring to the final period of the conservatorship. In short, today was a great day for TriStar. Whatever Ms. Spears's counsel may have tried to spin on the courthouse steps. We look forward to being deposed, advancing this process and ensuring that the full truth is finally shared.